Hello, students. And welcome to our first activity here regarding the peppered moth. Hopefully you have watched the video I linked you to already and gained some interesting information about the background of the peppered moth story. And now we are going to simulate it in the laboratory ourselves, almost in real life, but we're not going to use real moths. So no moths will be damaged or injured or killed or eaten or maimed or anything else in the production of this activity. So this activity, we are dealing with the peppered moth, and uh, I won't give you any background on them because you've already watched the video on that, but we're going to be doing the activity in your book on page 171. So if you turn there, if you haven't already, and you read the problem of the activity, it says, how can variations within a species, how can variations within a species result in natural selection? And so we are going to be pretending to be predators here, hungry birds, hungry for the peppered moth. And we're going to be doing three trials. Hopefully you've written your hypothesis already. But the three trials we're going to be doing include the first trial on a dark barked tree. Woof, woof. The second trial will be on a medium barked tree. Woof, woof. And the Third trial will be on a light bark tree. And on each of our barks will be placed five light colored moths and five dark colored moths. And what we will do is for each of our three trials, we're going to have five seconds to eat as many moths as we can up to a total of 10 moths within the five seconds, but we probably won't get to eat quite that many in five seconds because five seconds goes pretty quick. But then we will record how many light colored moths and how many dark colored moths are consumed in that period of time. We'll write that down in our observations and we'll use that information to help us answer the questions at the end of this activity. So, are you hungry? I know I am because I'm the one pretending to be the little birdie here today. And so we're going to be going over now to our top view in the laboratory. And you will see that I already have set for us the five <clears throat> light colored moths and the five dark colored moths. And I am going to be timing five seconds. Now, I'm actually not looking at the, the bark quite yet. I'm looking away from the bark to do this as per the instructions. So when I start the time, I will have five seconds to look at the dark bark and eat as many moths as I can, indicated by the triangular pieces in the shape of the peppered moth. And to eat them, I simply have to remove them from the bark. I won't actually put them in my mouth. I will be placing them off the board. When five seconds is up, I stop eating and we'll count the number of moths. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh. Five seconds are up, five seconds are up, and I have consumed, I will show you here, I have consumed one, two, three, four of the light colored moths, but I did not eat any of the dark colored moths, because quite frankly, I don't even see any dark colored moths. I do see another light colored moth here, but I only took four. So write down four for light colored moth. Oh, look at this. 
All right, there are in fact dark colored moths here. Here's one, two, three, four. As I really look, I can now see them. There are the dark colored moths, but I did not see them when I was eating. All right, I'm gonna have my partner get the next colored bark ready. I will not be looking, but my partner is setting up the medium colored bark right now. And I'm, we're gonna reset the time. And again, we will have five seconds, but make sure you have written under the dark bark, zero dark moths were eaten and four light moths were eaten. All right, now we're ready for the medium bark. So ready, set, go. All right, I'm hungry, I'm a hungry, I'm a hungry, 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 oops, hungry, hungry, hippo. Oh, time is up, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so what have I eaten here? I have eaten two light colored moths and I ate one dark colored moth. I, I was thought I was gonna get another one, but I slipped up. Now to show you, there are other dark colored moths and other light colored moths, but hey, I only ate two light and one dark in the five seconds. So I'm gonna have my partner reset the screen. Make sure you record the data, two light, and one dark colored moth on the medium, on the medium bark color. And now when my partner tells me we're all ready, we'll reset the time again for five seconds. And when they say go, I will have five seconds to eat as many moths as I can find on the light colored bark. So are we ready, set, Go. Oop, here's one. I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry. Oop. Time is up. Time is up. And to show you what I have eaten, I have consumed one, two, three dark moths. There were two left. And I also see there's one. Boy, I really have to hunt for them. Two. Three, four, there are five other light colored moths, but I did not see them because they were mirrored into the, the background. They were well camouflaged. So now you should have, and I'm gonna come back here to the screen, should have recorded in your data table in your data table, the appropriate numbers, the appropriate numbers for the dark bark, the medium dark bark, and the light bark. Boy, say that three times real fast. That's a tongue twister. And now I'm going to give you some time to answer those questions, and hopefully you'll have some time to discuss them before the end of the period. But for now, I'll say... Bye-bye.